What's up guys, welcome to your fifth tutorial in the Finishing Touches series for my Bring Back game with me, Travis. And what we're going to do in this tutorial is basically get our application on the marketplace. And it's pretty simple. Basically, uh, the SDK has had a lot of revisions where you don't have to work th with the command prompt like you guys might be seeing if you're searching on Google. Um, and I'll just show you the quick way to do this. Um, first, I want you guys to open your browser and go to market dot android dot com forward slash publish let me make sure that works and uh, basically this is where you're gonna be able to put your application on the marketplace you guys will have to log in or have a gmail account and sign up as a developer which costs 25 bucks pretty cheap compared to apple which is like 100 bucks a year i think this is only a one-time fee of 25 bucks and then uh, you guys go to upload application right here it says upload an APK file and basically we haven't, we haven't created one yet it's really simple no worries all we're gonna do is right click go to um, Android tools down here and then export signed application now you know you just uh, export your application so we're gonna hit next and now it says uh, key store password when you guys are going to be doing revisions, you're going to go to used exist, existing key store and enter your password. So we're going to create a key store right now because we don't have one. But make sure you remember what your password is going to be. So we're going to say new key store and then we're going to hit browse. And I like to generally create a new folder within my documents just for my key store and all that good stuff. So let's see here. I go to documents, create key store here. Actually, we're going to save it as basics. Hit save, and then we have to create a password. I'm just going to say bacon. Again, make sure it's something you guys remember. Uh, it's too short, so bacon1 for this. Hit next. Then, uh, you know, it's going to be your alias name, password. I'm also going to sign this as bacon1 because what you're creating right now is basically our. Uh, creation key as you can see here it's basically the key because we have a key store and a key then what we're gonna say is uh, again bacon one this can be a new password but it's nice to keep both your passwords the same just for uh, you know later sake and so we're gonna say validity is 1000 years I believe that's the max you can go and then you also have to put like a name so we're gonna say my bring back or whatever you guys want to use Let's see if this is max yeah, the people in the year 3000 are still going to be rocking our application out. So we're going to say its validity is a thousand years. Hit next and uh, just say where you want your APK to be stored. So we're going to store it here. Hit save and uh, finish. And there we go. We set up our APK. Now all we have to do is upload it. So we're going to say choose file and then the basics APK open and as you can see it needs two screenshots at least and they have to follow these dimension sizes I've uh, I've kind of created a few screenshots already so I'm just gonna upload two of those they're really really crappy for the most part but still gonna upload them just so we can go through the process here so you choose your file again it has to follow the dimensions oh and after you uh, after you chose your APK you need to hit upload as well and it's gonna upload that for you and after you hit the upload button it kinda of shows you that this application needs three permissions that will warn the users about and one feature um, used for Android marketing filter um, you know whatever that's cool you can you guys can check that out touch screen whatever then we need to choose our files as I was trying to do earlier open and again it has to be a PNG file or a JPEG with no alpha and there we go and we have to have at least two so we're gonna upload another one choose file open that as well as you can see there I didn't really scale down the image so they're pretty crappy and then we also have to have a high resolution icon um, so that has to be 512 by 512 so you guys want to create that in like paint or whatever and um, where is my logo one? Yeah, I believe that's it. And it has to be under, you know, 1,024 kilobytes. 
So upload that, and that's basically all you guys need to have. The rest of these things are optional. If you guys have promotional stuff going on, uh, you can upload that as well. Then we just have to give it a title. So we're going to say my bring back the basics. So then you can give it a description. I just said Android development tutorial series, the final product or final result. And uh, if you guys do updates, uh, you can add revisions as well. Um, again, you guys want to know where your APK is, and uh, you also want to remember your password for revisions as well. So there you go. And then also you pick whether it's an application or a game. We're going to say application, select category, education, and as you can see here if you guys want copy protection it adds a little bit to the memory but it uh, is a little bit safer I don't really care so I'm going to turn that off and then the matur maturity rating we're going to say everyone hopefully no one gets offended by our application here and then all locations and you guys have and lastly you guys have like website so I'm going to say mybringback.com and Travis at mybringback.com um, basically people will have access to your information your website your email and your phone number if you if you guys want to put your phone number on there we're gonna accept the terms and then hit publish and I guess you need to have HTTP for two forward slashes publish and there we go we're on the marketplace now the only other thing uh, that you guys might have trouble with is if you try to download your application if you guys been kind of checking it on your phone as you go when you've been developing you guys are gonna have to delete uh, basically the application that's on your phone right now before you can download it from the marketplace because otherwise you're gonna get an error so just make sure you delete whatever you've been working with an Eclipse and then you can download it from the marketplace so so hopefully you guys enjoy that it's pretty simple it's not as complicated as before where you guys needed the command prompt and all that stuff. So I guess I'll see you guys later.